let's make talkies to you as hobby require please guys do not mind my voice as i'm having runny nose the weather these days is something else this is my talkie i already cleaned i washed then i cut the wings into two like just for a bit whole a bit of hole as shown in the screen so that the ingredients will penetrate inside pour it into the pot these are all my ingredients please if you know what is missing here leave it under the comment section because me i love to try this is ginger garlic and onions well blended and i add it to the turkey because i love to cook my turkey then still leave it for some minutes before frying it like i want everything to really go into it now I'll add my nut seasoning like i said before if you know what i'm not adding to this turkey and is needed leave it under the comment section sure i would love to try it out i'm done frying all the turkey remember if you do not zip your mat at this point you're going to finish everything i'll be using the same oil i use in frying my turkey to make my stew i love to use a lot of oil yeah i'm going to remove it later after frying the stew i pour in thyme and curry it kind of give your base like like the oil of your stew or the base of the stew tasty now i just pour my parboy tomatoes bell pepper and onions and my scott bonnet pepper then i stir and cook the tomatoes till the sour taste fill the way at this point i'm going to be adding my tin tomatoes on my previous video someone was like under the comment section i should fry my to tin tomatoes first before the tomatoes uh the fresh tomatoes i've tried that before and i don't like the result at all i think i would prefer that when making my jello fries because it kind of gives your jello fries a ready i like it take the color of your jello fries to another level so when making my jello fries i normally try it that way but not all the time this is just how i prefer using uh frying my tomato stew by the time the tea and the fresh tomatoes is well cooked i go in with my turkey stock pour it inside let it cook for some time before i add in my turkey i'm not pouring out the turkey inside because sometimes hobby do not like turkey from the stew so he want me to just bring it outside and microwave it for him so this is the light stew and it's giving that lighting vibe this is after allowing the stew to cook now i'm going to remove all the oil on the top believe me this oil can be used in so many things if you've tried it before leave it under the comment section i always love to use a lot of oil to make my stew to avoid splash remember when you're making a lot of stew and you're not using a bigger pot so that everything can go down your kitchen everywhere is going to splash and splash and i feel my stew is not even well fried when making stew without using a lot of oil so at this point i will remove this oil this oil can be used in egg sauce for your yam for your plantain for your jollof rice like it goes a long way i just remove it and i put it inside my fridge then make use of it when needed on my yam my egg sauce and it also go well on my jollof rice so this is it guys at this point i just have to dish the food like separating the turkey from the stew because i'm super hungry and i don't want to be like taking stew then the turkey meat will not be dragging my spoon with me no i just need that space anyway guys if you're watching this extent you've really been your model fans and i really appreciate you please do me well by following our second page being your model family so you won't miss any of our program ah a guy is here doing his thing what is my husband seeing a lot of goody food and not speaking grammar he will speak grammar if you know what he's saying at this point you have to leave it under the comment section there is no other word than my wife my wife <laughs> <laughs> marry a good wife that knows how to cook bye guys see you all in my next video